Greetings, Actives. It's great to be here with all of you today. Welcome to the November Founders Call or Founders Zoom. I'm here joined by my partner, David Brown. And uh, David, hope you're having a great November. Here we are, the middle of November. It's hard to believe that we're already, I mean, right in the middle of fall weather. And uh, October was an amazing month. The end of October was really incredible. So for those of you who are new to joining Actives, David and I like to, to get on the Zoom each and every month and kind of give an update on, on what's happening for the rest of the month and, and talk about some of our highlights and some of our, our favorite moments from the previous month. So welcome if you are new to Actives, um, welcome. And uh, to all of you who aren't new to Actives, also welcome. Hope you're having an incredible month of November. So David, you know, we've, we've talked uh, quite a bit about October. We've also, we're gearing up to, to head to Mexico City to celebrate our fourth anniversary with Actives having launched in Mexico, um, you know, exactly four years ago this month. And um, a lot of things have happened over the last four months. Um, but what stands out before we talk about that, you know, what really kind of stands out to you from October? Obviously we had an incredible close, um, you know, right at the very end there. That, that I think uh, many of us are still recovering from that, that end of the month close. But what stands out to you? Well, hi, Ryan, and hi, everybody. It's great to be on with you. I think the first thing is what you mentioned is just the fact that we're in November. Where does the time go? It's just been crazy. And it's hard to believe that, you know, um, nobody writes checks anymore. But if I was writing checks, I'd probably still be writing 2019 or 2020 or something like that, because it's hard to believe that 2021 is already is already over. Um, you know, October was, cra was, was incredible, and it was crazy in, in some ways. You know, here in Utah, um, we had incredible fall foliage. Fall, the colors were just incredible this year, which was surprising to a lot of us because we've had the drought and we wondered how, what's it going to be like. And, um, and I think along those same lines, we had some, some real great, um, uh, great colors, if you will, uh, people emerging and, and, and accomplishing some great things. Uh, October was the last month for qualifying to go to Costa Rica. Um, on this call today or some of those qualifiers. Um, this is gonna be the first time that we have English speakers from the night, I mean, native English speakers going on a, an incentive trip with us. Um, and it shows that the, the growth that we continue to have, you know, Mexico remains our strongest market. We're so happy for what they're doing and, we're, and, the, and they're leading the way. Um, and, and yet we're seeing growth in these other areas. Um, Spanish speakers in the US have, have led the way and actually continue to lead the way. And that's an, an awesome demographic. But on the English side, we're getting some growth. And um, we had uh, Eric and Trish Albertson qualified for the trip and uh, Sean and Chris Bell. We have uh, Claudia Valdez and Claudina Brenneman who all qualified and, and Diane Young. And we had some others that got really, really close. And even though they didn't quite make it, um, they showed tremendous activity that's going to benefit them so that they'll be able to go on whatever trips they want to because they're building a great organization and their commissions are rising. And, and so those are the things that really stand out to me. Um, you know, we had a, we had a great um, Halloween um, party at the company, Ryan, that you weren't able to, to be in person to where we dressed up. And it inspired me to continue that theme and, and pass out to our trick-or-treaters, um, uh, Genomex and Optimend and Link and Arrow to their parents because their parents are eating way too much of the candy. And we knew that we needed, so we weren't, no, I'm just kidding. We didn't pass out product for, for trick-or-treat, but, uh, but, but we should have maybe <laughs> in terms of, of, uh, of what the world needs. And as we look forward into November and the holidays and the fact that we're gathering together as family and friends, uh, we got a lot of, we'll have a lot of demands upon our time for sure. But um, people are going to be eating too much. They're going to be doing things in excess. And, uh, and, 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 and it's all against a backdrop still of concerns about the pandemic, concerns about the economy, concerns about things that even though we're going to come together and enjoy the time as family and friends, are kind of these, kind of these nagging concerns that we have at the back of our mind. And, um, and Actives is and remains a great answer to questions that that people have about how do I best protect my family in all these ways? And those are the things that have been on my mind. It's pretty exciting. How yeah. about you? Well, yeah, no, I, I, uh, it, October is a fun month. I always enjoy, uh, uh, October. Have, for those of you who don't know, I've got young kids still for them living at home. And so October is a huge month for us. <laughs> and so we celebrate Halloween and we enjoy going out, looking at the changing colors and the leaves, just like you talked about, David. 
So for me, you know, October really stands out because it was also the last month of, for qualifying for this incentive trip. And David, you're talking about this uh, next incentive trip to Costa Rica will be the first time that we actually have English speakers qualify for it. And um, I know that you're going to talk about, you know, uh, uh, some of them, or uh, you, you did. Um, um, and, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's remarkable to see the evolution of actives and to see how that, that change is starting to occur and more people with diverse languages, including English, are starting to step up to the plate and qualify for some of these great things. Um, for me, what really stands out in, in October was this, this uh, just superhuman effort that we saw at the end of the month for people to qualify for, for the, the incentive trip. There's a lot of people that dug really deep, right? That said, you know what, I'm not gonna let this opportunity pass me by. They dug, they, 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 they went all in and lo and behold, behold they qualified. Um, you, you know, you, you and I were talking just a few moments before the Zoom about certain people who even with two days left in the qualification period or one day left in the qualification period, they, they had 20, 30, in some cases, 40 points that they still needed to, to make, and in some cases they did that. You know, a, a good friend of both you and, and, and mine is Carla Lopez, an A10 from Mexico City, um, who's got two small children herself. You know, she made up a, a 46 point deficit in the last two days or the last, I mean, it, it was really, all the points kind of came in on that last day. <laughs> so, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. And that was exciting to see. That's kind of a, a highlight for me to just kind of have a front row seat uh, to that experience. Um, I, uh, I, I, I love the transition going from October to November. It really was a blur this year, right? There was no single demarcation aside from the weekend, right? Where the 31st of October was on a Sunday. So we made, it made it a little bit challenging. And in our Latin markets, the first and the second, um, many people celebrate Day of the Dead. And um, it's really a, an interesting holiday. And I've, I've grown to really be fond of this holiday as I've gotten older and, I've, and, I, and as I've worked more in the Latin markets. Um, and I shared something on the English call, David, you'll, you'll remember a couple of weeks ago um, about one of our, our consumers, one of our customers down in Oaxaca, Mexico. Some of you might recognize her, but I'm gonna share my screen here. If you can see on the right-hand side here, there's a, there's a, an animated drawing of a woman named Mama Coco from the Pixar movie Coco, right? And Coco came out of maybe three or four years ago. No, it's probably three years ago. Yeah. And it talks all about, you know, the celebration of the Day of the Dead um, in the Latin community. And the star of the show is Mama Coco. Well, there's actually a real Mama Coco who they, they developed the character after. And she lives in, in Oaxaca, Mexico. And it's the woman here to the left. But here's what's really cool. And this really makes me know that, that we're in the right place at the right time, David. And that is that Mama Coco is actually one of our product users. She's a customer and there she is holding, um, you know, our flagship product uh, that we launched with Genomex. And uh, I understand that she's 105 years old right now and uh, she's doing well. And I have a short video of her actually talking. And so, you know, for me, that transition of October into November, um, getting to, to see the, the videos and the pictures that people post of Day of the Dead um, was exciting, but also things like this really reinforce to me that, hey, I'm in the right place at the right time because we have some really notable people who are involved in using our product. So for those of you who didn't know that, you ought to share that, especially with families that have kids, because I think most people are probably fans of the movie Coco. And David, I, you know, I wanted to take a, another minute here to share with everybody um, this something that I've been thinking a lot about now as we are in the month of November, not just, you know, October was a lot of fun, a lot of pushing for people to, to qualify for um, the incentive trip to Costa Rica. This month, you know, we're getting to jump on planes here in just a handful of days to head down to Mexico City, where we're going to be with about a thousand people, uh, maybe more, maybe, I mean, we can have as many as 1200 people to celebrate the fourth anniversary of Actives uh, in Mexico, which is where we launched. And I've been thinking a lot about the four, these last four years. And you know, you don't remember a lot of details. You remember certain moments, David. I, I, I'm sure that you are, you know, we're all the same. And, um, and I remember the fun, you know, I don't remember. It's been a lot of work, blood, sweat, and tears. In fact, there's an entire year leading up 
to the launch where you know some of us were pounding the, the pavement really hard just to get things ready just to, to you know to, to get ready to launch and um, and uh, but the fun moments are what I remember and I was recently listening to somebody who was uh, uh, sort of a, a personal development coach and I've been studying his his one of his books and he talks about why children are the best learners in the world right why is it that kids learn so well and how, how come we're not uh, uh, we as adults why don't we why don't we dig into that to figure out, you know, boy, if I could, could learn like a child, I, I could keep, you know, I could learn a million languages. I could, you know, reinvent myself over and over again. And, and he talks about that, you know, children learn, learn languages much quick, much easier than adults. They assimilate new information and, you know, you don't need me to convince you of that. But the question is, is why is that? What is it about children that we as adults should pay attention to? And he, he zeroes in on the topic of play. They play. The way they learn is through play. Yes, they go to class and we as adults, we put them in classrooms and we try and go through these traditional learning methodologies. But really what drives children is play and, and play is where they learn, right? As we get older, we, we, we kind of stop playing and playing turns into hanging out and then hanging out turns into maybe, you know, a morning at, on the golf course and, you know, maybe enjoying it, watching a ball game. And that's kind of our version of play, but we don't have a lot of play. And he talks about the, the, why play is important. Play is important because fun, when you're playing, you're having fun. And he talks about, um, you know, you know, kind of his, his, his coaching methodology is to help adults learn how to play again and specifically learn how to have fun in order to you know, take on new information, assimilate new information, learn new languages, become that, that better version of yourself. And mm -hmm. so I was thinking about, about his uh, remarks and, and, and what he shared, and I was thinking about actives, <clears throat> and I was thinking, you know, the things that really stand out to me, David, are the moments of fun, are the moments of play. So I want to share this picture because, again, when I think about the last four years, when I think about what we're doing now in November, what we're going to be doing here in just a few days, David, jumping on an airplane, flying down to celebrate um, with, you know, a thousand people, it's going to be fun. And so the, the last real fun moment I had was a month ago. And I don't know how many of all of you have ever rode in the back of, of a pickup truck. I think most of us over the age of 40 have done that. Maybe if you're not 40, you may have never ridden in the back of a pickup truck before. But back in the day, we all did it and we did it a lot. Um, David, I know you probably did it growing up in Peoa, Utah. Probably every day you rode in the back of a pickup <laughs> as you worked on your, on your family's farm. But here I am, and I'm sharing this picture because in the bed of this truck, we've got um, uh, Legend A16 Martin Lida, uh, uh, Legacy A12 um, Danny Pizarro. We've got several other leaders back there. We've got another A12 back there, Veronica Caceres. And we're just having fun. This was about one month ago and we were at the end of two very long days full of training presentations. And we're gonna go out to, to the beach at um, Tampico at about 11 at night and we're gonna get some corn on a stick. And that's what, that was our adventure, David. And I gotta tell you, this just is a re good reminder for me that we've gotta have fun. If we're not having fun, we're probably doing something wrong. And what I want to share with all of you today, if you're brand new at Actives, make sure that you're, you're here for the right reasons, that you have a big why, that you, there's something you really, really want to accomplish, that you really want to do, you want to go big. Maybe it's, maybe it's retirement, maybe it's travel, right? Make sure you want to go big, but make sure that you're having fun. It is hard work, but I got to tell you, you can absolutely have fun doing this business and I'm starting to learn a lot from this from this author that that uh, whose book I'm reading, and I'm going to really turn a new page over, um, new chapter over in, in in my journey here in Actives, and I'm going to try and have a lot more fun. I've been having a blast, but I'll tell you what the the journey, you know, I don't I don't know that the end is is quite as 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 sweet as the journey can be because it's going to be those moments climbing the back of a bed of a truck in Tampico, Tamaulipas, and it was just last month, October of 2021,
that I will always remember. I don't think I'll ever forget that moment. So that's what stands out to me, David. And that's what I'm excited to do more of. So how about you? What are you excited about? Well, same thing. In fact, listening to you talk, it reminded me of a quote I heard a long time ago. May the work that you do be the play that you love, right? And, uh, and if we can do that, um, you, you know, even, you know, people have often heard the phrase network marketing requires a lot of work. But when we think of it simply as a burden, I've got a bag of bricks on my back and now I'm going to transfer, you know, I hope I can recruit you so I can put my bag of bricks on your back. <laughs> that's, your, that's not going to be fun for you and it's not going to be fun for them. What I think is, is, is wonderful is, is when you see these people starting to blossom, others start to blossom. And these things that initially started out as pretty tough, how do I share this with other people? Becomes, that becomes their play. They, they love getting to know other people. They love seeing the changes in other people. For me, it's wonderful seeing it and recognizing Martine and, and Danny and, and Veronica and the others that even though I don't have the, inter, the interaction with them that you do, um, I still feel like I'm part of the family and we're all part of this big family. And, and I, I would just say this, there's never been a better time to be part of Actives. We're more solid, we're more stable, we have more people pulling in the same direction, we have more testimonials, we have more science, we have more you know, proven examples of the compensation plan, people who have built, built big businesses, who have overcome tremendous you know, um, uh, difficulties and, 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 um, and tough positions. And, and so if anyone is wondering out there I, you know, whether they can do it, you know, the one thing you don't have to worry about is the products. Every time the products are taken, they work. The other thing you don't have to worry about is the opportunity. Every time the, the same plan is followed, it works. Um, the only time products don't work is when they're not taken. The only time that the, the opportunity doesn't work is when it's not, is when it's not done. Um, and, and it's really kind of as simple as that. And so I know that human nature, Ryan, is such that we compare ourselves to others. There's probably people listening tonight and say, man, you know, I wish I could have qualified for that. I wish I could do this. And, and we, and, but, you know, I just heard something the other day and maybe, maybe it's an old saying I just hadn't ever heard before, but I really liked it. I said, don't compare this, the moon to the sun. They both shine when it's their time. And, on, and the time, our time to shine is not always the same. And, um, and, and so make it, the good news is we can largely control when it's our time to shine. And, uh, and Actives provides that vehicle that people need and want and are longing for in order to have their time, their opportunity to shine. And that's what I look forward to. We're gonna see more people join, more people in the back of that proverb, that, that, um, um, that pickup truck. It won't always be a literal pickup truck, but uh, um, maybe that should be our next, maybe that should be our next incentive trip. I think so. Uh, Sounds good. Get, you can go to Tampico and ride in a, ride in the back of a pickup truck to the beach with our, with our top leaders. Uh, you know what? That'd probably be pretty exciting to people. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll tell you what, I, I haven't done anything that fun since I was about 12. So exactly. yeah, it's a lot of fun. So I, I think people are going to have a great month. Use the time. The time is going to go by one way or another. You're either getting closer to your goals or not. So you might as well just jump in and do it. That's right. Awesome. Well, thank you, David. Everybody, uh, we're in the right, you're in the right place at the right time. Remember, there's nothing to lose. You have everything to gain here. Bet on yourself. Bet on this opportunity, like David said. Um, we have unparalleled science and technology that, um, that we're bringing to bear, that we're bringing to the marketplace is not unlike any, any scientific, uh, uh, scientifically validated products that you can find anywhere. So make sure you don't let this opportunity pass you by because it, it, with, with, with great uh, products that, that you know, everyone needs, there's no one that doesn't need them, this is an incredible opportunity. So we do talk a lot about the business and a lot about opportunity. And it's because it, you know, it is a great opportunity. You know, there's a reason why we're not selling these products in stores. We're not selling them in stores because each of them have a great story to tell and we're relying on you to be those storytellers. So have fun while you do it, set lofty goals, high goals, you can achieve it. We've got people who are having great success now in Actives that have never had success working for themselves before. So the time is perfect and uh, come on in, the water's great. And with that, you know, let's go on and keep having a great November and we just one more month and we're going to be closing out 2021. So make sure that you're already starting to decide how are you going to close this year and what are you going to do in 2021? Really give us some thought, put together a great plan and um, we'll see you guys all at the top. Thanks, David. And thanks, thanks everybody. And we'll see you, see you next everybody. month. Take care.